Hey, I'm RC, and in this video, I'm going to create a simple quest for the open source MMORPG Raining Chain. Um, so this is the quest we are going to create. So we talk with the NPC, and he asks us to kill a dragon. We kill the dragon, and then we talk with the NPC again to complete the quest. Now we need to um, find out what are the different quest variables that we will need. So what do we need to save about a player in order to save its progression during the quest? And the only thing is I've killed dragon. So if the player has killed the dragon or not. Now concerning the events, we will need two of them. So the first one is F um, talk Ringo. So the, the event link with um, the dialogue trigger of the NPC Ringo that we will create later on. So when we uh, click on Ringo and if the player have killed it, have not killed the dragon, then Ringo will t say to the player, hey, go kill the dragon. If the player clicks on Ringo and he has killed the dragon, then we will simply call quest complete. And we also need the event on the death event of the dragon. So when we kill the dragon, it will set the half kill dragon to true for the player who killed the dragon. Okay, so now let's just take a look to the real code. Um, so we got our verbal half kill dragon equal false, nothing has changed. Now, um, in order to get the quest variable of a certain player, we need to use the function as get key and then specify the name of the Quest variable, in that case, I've killed dragon, is it equal to false? Then we display the message, go kill the dragon. Um, if it's equal to true, then we will call the complete quest. And for the list of all the, the function, I will show that in the quest um, creator. It's it's a lot easier. There's a full ID, it auto completion, um, the stuff for you. So if you look, if you are confused right now, don't, don't worry, it will be um, easier than you think. Then we got, um, the event when you kill the dragon, so it will set the half kill dragon to true. And then finally, we will need to create a map that I will call the dragon lair. Um, we will spawn a NPC that when we click on it, it triggers the talk Ringo event, which is right here. So we'll trigger that. And then we also need to spawn a dragon that when it dies, it will call the kill dragon, which is this. So it will set the half kill dragon to true. So now what I'm going to do is to do it on the quest creator. So I assume that you have already installed on um, the quest creator. You simply want to go there, click new, and then enter, let's say, quest example one, does not really matter. Um, variables, you need one, which will be have killed dragon, is it false? You can also change the name, the author description, but it's not really needed. Um, then we got the events, so we add two events the first one was talk Ringo. So talk Ringo, if you remember correctly, if um, get key, key is the player, have kill dragon equal false. Then what we are going to do is to add a message in the player chat box, key and go kill the dragon. There we go. Now, if as get key at kill dragon equal true, then we are going to display the message. Well, nope. We are going to complete quests. There we go. Now we are going to create the kill dragon event right there. So it will simply set the at kill dragon to true. Then we got the maps. So um, by default, there's already a map called Q-Town Main. Simply don't touch it. It, it simply adds a, a skeleton that when you click on it, it will teleport you to the main. Normally, you only need to modify this, this part, so the main map. So right there, we are going to create our, um, it's called Ringo, so spawn actor, add the spot. Oh, actually, let, let's modify the map first. It's map. So this is the map we have right now. We are going to remove the default spots. Right there. You need to leave the T1, by the way. This is where you will be teleported by the skeleton. Um, we could add, I don't know, some trees. Oops. Let's add some trees. This is not really a tutorial about how to create nice looking maps. But as you can see, you just drag, click, then you can also copy paste, place it like that. 
Normally you would also want to Anyway, and now the important part is the spot layer. So if you scroll in the layers, you need to click spot and then the ninth tile set, you will have a bunch of letters. So those letters are very important. So if you want to spawn an actor, you will need to select, for example, A and place it there. So now it's possible to spawn something, an actor at the position A, otherwise it's not possible. You can only spawn uh, monsters and teleport players to location that are um, mention in detail project. So what we want is a NPC, let's say Ringo, we will put Ringo at this spot N1, we click N1 here and then we spawn a monster, for example E1, right there. So we can save, close. Every time you modify a map you will need to click the generate image um, in order for the, the game engine to be able to render it on the screen. Okay, so once this is done, um, you can actually start off and <laughs> our NPC. So what we want is an actor at the spot N1, and this will be Ringo, so it will be an NPC. And the special thing about this NPC, unlike regular NPC, it will have a dialogue. And when we talk with him, it will trigger the dialogue talk Ringo. Then after that, we want to spawn an actor at the spot E1, and this will be our dragon. Dragon, right there, and the dragon will be special. When we kill him, it will trigger the kill dragon event. So there we go, we can save, and that's all we need in order to create our quest. So we save, and then we click the start server button. It will tell you to go to localhost 2000. So let's just go, there we go. Sign in, then you can create a new account or if you have one already, you can log in directly. Now there will be skeletons. So one of the skeletons, if there are one or two skeletons, is, uh, you want to click on the one with the name of your quest. So in our case, it's Q, um, Q quest example one. So we click on him, start quest, and we will get teleported to the map we have just created. There will be our dragon. There will be Ringo. If we talk with Ringo, it will say, go kill the dragon. If we actually kill the dragon, there's the death tool if you want to be invincible. We kill the dragon, we talk with him again, and it will be quest complete. So I guess that's pretty much it about this tutorial. I hope you liked it, and um, see ya.